Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is the new action adventure game from the people who earn so much money making horse games that they then ask Platinum Games to make a hack and slash for them, but then we're like, Why not? I'll do it myself. And after many years, here we are. Now I decided to try the demo for this because well, I gotta use my PS5 for something. This is just the first impressions where I don't think they understand what gamers want. And it's fun characters to play as, not boring John Grand Blue. Okay, I should explain why, because this demo was at a roller coaster of emotions. So the demo has a tutorial mode where you learn the combat of John Grand Blue, where you press square to do basic attacks and triangle for more heavy attacks. You can jump, which is like, yes, give me more airtime. Then you can block and dodge, but the dodging is weird that you can't spam it like your 2B on a way to choke out 9S, you actually have a cooldown. And when you dodge without moving an input, it'll auto back dodge. I mean, come on, man, I want to get in close. Also, I would recommend bumping up the sensitivity on the camera because it really takes its time to follow enemies around when you're dodging here and there. But then you got R1 where you hold it down and you got special moves. For each character, they're all different. John here has got healing, armor break, and... Yeah. And then you got two modes, one being story, and the other... But we'll get to that. Because first... What the heck? Assist mode? Button mashing? That's just for fighting games, not action adventure. Okay, no joke, it's pretty cool for people who just want the story. As we see the crew realizing that they shouldn't have opened the car roof. Bro's glasses are glued to his head. And so you land and find out the goblins have captured everyone. And yeah, man, when I said I wanted subtitles, I didn't mean block half of the screen. A little transparency, maybe? And the game is fully voice acted, and it's like, oh, yeah, I just literally played the other game, and they have voices in that too, and they're the same voices. Wait, we can talk here as well? You focus on the evacuees. We can talk on this thing? Looks like a flower glued to a box. I'll glue you to the box, you little. Are you sure you want to give us one? Yep, don't worry. I didn't pay for it. And yeah, you can now control John and huh. You know, this sort of feels like Genshin Impact! Or some kind of game. And so we run forward to fight goblins where your allies will do damage and you gotta press circle to jump to them where you do a link attack and you go around freeing people. You're in good hands now. Oh, thanks. Okay, I wasn't expecting that voice. They have the high ground! Oh wait, a jump button. That means... No, no. Yeah, nothing can beat Xenoblade's falling death sound. And so the enemies have also long range attacks as well as shields, so you gotta dodge around them. And it will say it's kinda hard to follow your character. Or any character. I mean, you tell me what you're seeing here. And so once you free everyone, you can move on, but I don't know if they'll patch this out. A little hint here. But when you spin while you're jumping, you seem to jump higher. Wonder if people can use that to get out of bounds? I also really like how they have idle animations because, man, it's actually really hard to see that in Japanese games now. No, really, a lot of these modern games have stopped doing this. Let the characters be goofy when you're AFK. Now we enter this Colosseum where you fight waves of goblins for this big super shield guy, and you build up this meter to do a finisher with R and L3. And if all four of you do it, you got a super duper mega duper finisher attack at the end. Ascension! And once you win, that's all the story you got in the demo. Well, you then get a super cool trailer showing you all the characters you could be playing instead. Deliver us. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute! This is just Final Fantasy 16! Now, I was kinda not feeling this little demo of the story because John was so boring! But then I realized the demo was hiding the best part! The other characters! Because here's this mode where you can play online co-op with three other people. You know, if I had PlayStation Plus, I could've. Friends who have a PS5. Bro, it's such an expensive brick. But you can also do it solo, and you got this hub world with a handler who gives you quests where you can party up. You got a blacksmith and random NPCs walking around. And that quest menu it seems very. Hey, wait a minute. This is just Monster Hunter 1. 
world. That's so cool. Because yeah, you can play as all these other characters. So I tried Siegfried because Buddy was busted in the fighting game. And man, he's way more fun than Johnny Boy. He's got slow, heavy attacks and the sword is so cool. But then I played as Twintail McGee here and I'm actually having fun. Her combos actually keep you airborne for as long as possible. And it's just so fun bouncing in and out and a triangle is counter set up. Someone attack me, please! And then I played as these two who really struggle to order McDonald's. Her square attack lets you spam as much as possible to then finish with a triangle counter ender. Uh, and like, bro, this is so fun! Oh yeah, when you all do a link attack, you get this slow-mo time where you can then go nuts. Just when I thought the game was peak, I played as this old man, whose lore is that he's some retired geezer. But what is this devil may cry BS? And I absolutely love his special circle where he tries to fight off Alzheimer's and remember how to count from kindergarten. Like, this is just so funny, he keeps counting off! And so I tried this big character who forgets weapons and just uses fists, and it's very slow as you build up this meter to then do a raging fist. But when you're in the slow-mo, you can just spam it like crazy. And from what I know, they're gonna add more characters. So while the story just feels very John Fantasy, I'm actually kind of super hyped for this Monster Hunter Quest mode. Maybe I'll get on sale to play with people on PC because, bro, this guy goes so hard. Hey, wait a minute. This is just Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs>